What's up, what's up, what's up? It's the Culture Lights, Royal Life. It's your boy Kev. Make sure y'all subscribe and like. Hit that notification bell down below, man. For sure. Um, this week, man, we got a lot to talk about, man. Uh, California shooting, another mass shooting, man. man that's like crazy, 12, man. It was like a bar or something like that. And terrorism, man. That's It's straight terrorism, man. People ain't labeling it what it's supposed to be. People not calling it what it, what it really is, man. I just really, man, that dude, first he was an army guy. Like I, They say he, they say he was uh, organized because he threw, like, smoke bombs and first to like well, this thing was, training mission right that's what I said like, like he was like he was like trained and then like they don't even know like I don't even know what the motive is like but mass shootings man they just they my just whole thing is that when they do that and then they kill themselves like so you can't even like understand why they're trying to do it right. or and they don't even see, don't they, they can't like even that. see they can't even see what happens on the back end of of their actions like you know what I'm saying they right, accomplish the what they want to do right like, do people even remember their names like you know what I mean so it's it's a whole weird thing, man, that I, I, you know, I really don't, I don't understand. I feel what you're saying, because, like, a lot of them, you know, they do it for the fame, but if yeah. you kill yourself, like, you don't even you get to see the fame, see like, did, or did it work, or did it not work? Did you not become famous? Did it, right. You know what I mean? And then not only that, like you were saying earlier, like, you don't even remember his name. I, yeah. I mean, all, all the people that are going to remember his name are the victims and the victims' exactly. family. Like, nobody else is going to remember it, who you remember are it. for what you did or something like that. I don't even remember the Virginia Tech shooting dude name. But, None of them really I mean, is. it's just... Senseless. To, to get your name remembered, you got to do something on a massive scale, like a Timothy McVeigh, or you know something Jeffrey where you're, Dahmer or something you know, like you're, that. you're killing hundreds of people, which is you know super terrible. Don't right. by any means. Like, what I'm people, saying, doing no this, reason. But, yeah, it's like you know, but when you're doing these like shootings, these mass shootings, that's, what's the purpose? Like, what's the point? What are y'all trying to get across? Like, what, what did those shooting? people do to you? What did that yeah, ball like, do to you? Why, like, why are you picking? random people or is it random is there a reason like there's a lot of questions that, that, that are still left after that right and that, that, yeah, yeah it's so many questions because if it was for a cause yeah then like if it's why like, not just shoot yourself in, in the beginning anyway don't even try to kill nobody people kill yourself anyway or if it's like a workplace thing like something right. like oh, targeted yeah, it, yeah. where it's a lot of people but it's because it's this company it's you know it's something that makes sense like why it's targeted but um, just random the randomization of it is something that I don't understand, and I, yeah, I don't so you know, random. Yeah, hope I, we, don't ha we don't have to get too much more understanding because yeah. it's crazy, man. And hopefully, it, it's, and it's I, I feel man. sorry for the families and stuff like that because I was looking at the video with the, uh, one of the guys. His mom was saying like he survived the Vegas shooting yeah. just to get killed at yeah. this shooting. She was like, "I want gun control. I want gun control," but. That ain't going to solve nothing. People going to find a way to get guns. Control, just like, yeah, they're going to find a way to get really guns. Just, it's more mental health issues yeah. than gun control, I think, you know. Yeah, because um, there had to be something leading up to this for him to, like, out. I'm not, I'm not saying, like, people are going to notice, but it had to be something. He didn't just wake up that day and was like, I'm going to kill a bunch of people. Like, something had to, or someone, or something had to see signs involving him to be, like, to jump that dramatically to just start shooting people. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, I don't know, but um, speaking of shootings, man, you got the the Takashi uh, video shoot getting shot up. Him, Kanye um, West, and Nicki Minaj. Yeah, yeah. Man. California, right? It was, yep, yep. It was in California too. Damn. Yeah, I seen a little. You seen a little footage? Footage academic put out. Um, oh yeah, he did. Put he it a, out. Yeah, so you know, it's just. That, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Where to start, right? Just, he's just like he's doing too much. Like I, I hate, I, I, I hate to say. You know, on the hills of the what happened the other day with the uh, at the uh, thing out there in Long Beach they had where you know uh, it was on uh, complex, complex, yeah, complex, 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 be walking around like 50 cent anyway. So, I was in the picture. He had like armed off duty police officers. Like, hey, you, you're not gonna yeah. get to that dude. Like, I'm just, I don't know. I'm kind of tired of the narrative of him just always talking. We never him. talk about his music, man. <sighs> it's only about the shit it, that he's yeah. into. Like, you never, like, yo, that dude about this. get no. into something every week. Yeah, every week like, is something you know, new. Whether it's him messing with a uh, trippy red girlfriend. To him with 50 Cent doing something. To him with YG. Like, it's something every week. And then now you getting people like Nicki Minaj and Kanye West involved. that they got shit to do with that. And then they end up shooting up their video. That's, they, that's money they lost in the production and all that for that day. Because you over there wilding with motherfuckers doing stupid shit. Yeah, I mean, I know getting yourself on and getting out there. Just any attention is good attention sometimes. But... When it's never about your music, it's never about your artwork, man. It's just always about the shenanigans and the fucking mm -hmm. all the other bullshit around you, man. It just gets tiring. Well, to me, 
at a certain point. I agree. No, it's to me too. Shit, that shit is I, I too really, much. I ain't really too much. You know, I'm tired of. And you and off. you just got off. Oh, uh, like going to jail and shit. Like you about to go to jail. Like you supposed to be moving away. You supposed to be chilling, sitting in the background. Putting music out, dropping albums, but you always in the fucking news doing something stupid. Never for music either. You know Never what I'm for saying? music. So, but you know, yeah. Yeah, it's just. On a lighter note, man, we got fucking NBA shit, man. Yeah. On, uh, NBA still strong. NBA still um, strong. Yep, yeah, but. Uh, the Jimmy Butler getting traded to the Sixers. Mm. Man, you know what I'm saying? How you feel about that? Uh. I think the process is over. <laughs> As they say, you know, like, trust the process. Like, the process should be over by now. Like, I think with this lineup, even though I wish they would have kept uh, Covington, the defensive dude or whatever, the three-point man. For him. Do you think yeah. Philly's deal was better than Houston's deal, though? With Houston with the four first-round picks that they offered. I, and y'all let us know too in the comment right. section, man, down below. Was, they did was what was better, deal. the Philly deal or the Houston deal? You know what I mean? Think, I think when it comes to, like, winning... A lot of people want to win now. Yeah. So, with the Houston deal, that's, like, for the future. Yeah. So, because you don't even know what you're going to get out of those picks. You may get bust out of those for at least with the well, Sarge. Sarge and Covington are decent yeah. players. So yeah. I mean, and that's for now. So, Minnesota still got a team yeah. to, like, win. You know what I'm saying? Like, they still got a team to win in the West. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Like, with the, with the, how the but West is. Is the West is Sarge and Covington right now? I mean, who Better you got? than it be, getting uh, four first round picks over seven years. And, and Houston's Rose. not going to be great forever either. So them nah, picks Houston's not, not good now. That's what, what I'm saying. saying. So, so them picks over seven years, they could be something. And I would think it will help because Melo's not doing good with Houston. Paul is old now. Paul is old. He's looking old. James Harden. I mean, James Harden will be with James he, Harden. He, when he I comes mean, back. Just, yeah. So, but I just think that, let's say, who is, it's Minnesota. They got with Derrick Rose. T at the point guard, then you got Covington and Sarge, then you got Wiggins, and then Carl Anthony Towns, and then they bench with Gibson. Uh, I, I mean, I, I can I see it. I see yeah, it, I but guess. I got to I, I gotta watch the game first well, and, also, and see how it, it works. Also, what it does is it doesn't trade Butler into the West. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't. Like so, you know what I mean? Do you think he's going to stay with Philly and resign? I think I, or? From allegedly there was talks like, of when he he kind of gave her approval of the deal that he was gonna you know what I'm saying resign for the max. You know, hey, Philly? You know, Do they got enough money for a max? Yeah, I think they will. Okay, you know what well, I, I, well, I guess I, it depends because Ben Simmons still on his rookie contract, and I think Joel Embiid already signed a big contract last year, so they got money. I guess because the only other money I think they paid for was JJ Reddick. But yeah. um, I don't know, man. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Philadelphia, but what else in the NBA? Uh, Lakers finally six and six. Yeah. LeBron finally got them moving in the right. They five hundred. I mean, yeah. I don't know. It's just, it's that they getting straight. Boston is. I don't know. Boston is, They're trying yeah. to work out their issues. It's still, you know, I, I was real strong on the NBA in the beginning, especially preseason first week or two. Then right. I kind of fell back. back. Yeah, fell back a little bit. And you know, I think because like people got hurt. Like Westbrook well, got hurt. That. It's hard it, 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 it is a long thing to try to be super attentive to. Eighty-two games. That's what they were trying to shorten it. They were thinking like, no, you can't shorten it, bro. But you just, you know, check back in around Christmas time. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. And then, then all-star break, you know, everybody's starting to get serious or whatever right. like that. They don't even, like, everybody don't even have their own lineup yet. I mean, they still making switches. Like, you still ain't even seen DeMarcus Cousins. Yeah, Steph Curry so, just got hurt. They were talking about sitting them out the rest of the year. We'll see, you know, what happens but, with all that, man. But right, yeah. I don't know. Y'all let us know, man. Um, as always, y'all hit us up, man, on uh, social media. In the comment section, all of that. We're not paying attention to nothing that that, that <laughs> got going on over there, whatever. Um, Zion Williamson, I guess he is kind of. He's the truth, man. Yes, sir. I ain't talking about no dude, man. Coach Lights, man. We out of here. What's up, yo? <laughs>